All right, everybody. Here's installment number two in the Rabbit Flight Control series. The very first thing you need is a good USB cable. I would not recommend using the one that come with the Rabbit because uh, a lot of people are having troubles with them and a lot of stuff anymore is being sent with the cheapest cable they can find. This is a good cable that came with a good camera I had a few years ago and it's always been my go-to cable and it's just a standard USB, basically a camera cable. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that you have the upware upload tool of your choice loaded on your computer, which I do. I have one that I use. It's one of my favorites. The next thing you do plug in the rabbit and you should see staging lights pulsing. Now you go back up to the computer double click on your upload tool my information is coming up on the screen okay let me go ahead and set this camera back on the tripod so my hands are free okay now on mine I have my settings a little bit differently than what some do so I'm not going to go into the exact settings everybody's are a little bit different but uh, auto st or stability level okay well mine's a 72 auxiliary stability uh, 59 dyna stability 61 balance level that's your accelerometers I have mine set clear up to 90 auxiliary balance I have it at 50 um, directional stability 82, head lock 82, height lock 80, auxiliary height lock about the same 82. Uh, I don't use the the PTZ parts so I really don't mess with those. My battery alarm voltage is set at 320. Now on this one has a sensor of fall which I have that shut off. That just it just uh, is something that does not really work all that great so I don't use it. Now up here I have mine set for quad X which it is. My speed controls are 330 Hertz. I have that set for that. Uh, the default data is for 4 axis uh, 450 to 650 quad. Now I also have height lock locked in. I don't use the headlock, so I have auto landing checked over here on channel number six. And uh, I want to uncheck 3D stunt. Okay. Now I just have auto landing on channel six and height lock on channel seven. Down here I have the battery, receiver, gyro, accelerometer, barometer, and ultrasonic sensor checked, which those are all the sensors that I have. I don't use GPS. Now you go down here to the battery voltage display and what you need is is a digital battery meter which I have already done you plug that into the balance port of your battery now plug this balance plug in and it should Okay, now my battery went at, okay, I had 4.14 on the first, so you enter that 414. You don't use the decimal point. Go over here to the battery number two, and it was the same, 414. Now, battery number three which is the third cell and that was 415 then you hit the calibrate button and your battery alarm voltage is already calibrated
Now, you can plug in your white battery, which I won't do, but then you can uh, set up all of your, see how your channels are working, your endpoints on your transmitter. But that is a basic overview of how to use the general user interface. Now I have an older version, so when I want to save the values, I just get out of it, come down here, and simply unplug the voltage meter, and then just unplug the USB cable, and all my settings should be saved.